Hi and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today I'll be showing you how to cut laminated sheet goods like the melamine board you see in my background here or any type of laminated wood really. Uh, this all applies to regular sheet goods as well but they're going to be less finicky because they don't have that laminated surface that we're trying to preserve as we cut. I'll be testing three main things today. The first is comparing high quality table saw carbide tip blades versus uh, just steel blades for the circular handsaw. See how much of a difference that makes. Comparing sheet good blades, so high tooth count. This is a hundred tooth count for five and a half inch or the 80 tooth count for the 10 inch versus these two general purpose blades. This is a five and a half inch 18 tooth blade and this is a 10 inch 36 tooth blade. And the third thing I'll be testing is to see how useful putting masking tape on the cutting surface uh, actually is for preventing chipping. So what I've done here is I've actually prepared a board where I'm going to be testing the different cuts uh, with and without tape, just so we can get a good idea of how much of a difference tape can actually make in the cuts. Off to cutting. Not that I ever recommend using taking off the guard or using the saw without the guard, but just for this demonstration, given that the guard blocks uh, this, we're just going to take it off for the video. All right, so I have my eyewear and my uh, earmuffs on, so I can't hear myself talk anymore. I may be a little louder than usual. We're going to prep for the first cut. Now, once again, you don't want your blade sticking out too far out from your wood. And this is especially true if you're going to be doing uh, stacked sheet goods. Now, let's take a look at what this 100 tooth, just regular steel blade does. Alright, so we're done cutting and there are clear differences between the types of blades used. If we look at the high quality uh, specialty 80 tooth carbide tip blade, we can see that the edges are nearly perfect. They look almost like factory finish. Um, so since we're cutting on both sides here, it looks almost perfect to me. Uh, really nothing nothing to criticize and if we remove the tape it actually almost looks uh, worse under where the tape was that might just be my imagination um, because again it's, it's nearly perfect but the tape was really useless um, if not a hindrance 
Now when we care, compare that to the results from the 36 tooth general purpose blade, it actually did a, a decent job. Um, so you can see that the edges did lift a little bit, but it didn't chip inwards. And the nice thing about that is that you can just softly sand the, the edge and you can probably get a, a, quite an acceptable finish from this. So if we move on to the five and a half inch 100, 100 tooth blade, what we can see is that, um, again, the edge isn't perfect, but it's all on the outside. There's no inside chipping, which is the real problem. Um, if you're if you damage the inside, then you can't do much for that. But if we've got a little loose lip here, it's at risk of getting caught and being torn up. But if you remedy it right away with a bit of extra work, and you sand this in at a at a slight angle, um, you should be able to get a, a very nice finish that won't get damaged over time any any more than any factory edge would. And when we compare it to the 36 tooth edge, we can see that between the 100 tooth uh, circular saw blade, which is just a steel blade, no carbide or anything fancy like that, it actually did just about as good of a job, a little bit more fraying, but again, nothing interior and something that can easily be fixed uh, just by giving it a light sand on the corner here. And then our last one is the 18 tooth circular saw blade. Uh, this one was really problematic. You can see that it really tore into the top surface. And so this we can't fix. You can't just sand this. Um, you're going to have a nice little chipped edge the whole way, no matter what you do here. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, if you like this, please like, subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down at the bottom. And have a good day.